Do I have any weird woohoos up there? No? My lipstick match my shirt? Is that how you're supposed to wear lipstick? So people have noticed, and I guess I should talk about it, something did change. You know, not like the background or anything. I'm not filming in a different place because it took a really long time to dial all of this in for, you know, things that I haven't started yet. Anyway, something has changed with the setup and stuff. And that thing is called, I have a microphone in front of my face. Now, I've successfully, I think, managed to mostly zoom this in so you don't see it, but Mr. Soap and Clay won't let me uh, film anymore with the microphone not in front of my face. Weird. And I will probably abandon this and the audio is going to go back to its normal shittiness soon enough. But he did raise a good point. You know, you're three years into this. You should eventually figure out your audio. And so the best way to do it is to put a good mic in front of you. And so, okay, cool. Thank you for being logical. But it feels weird right here. And also just like pick it up and be like a, a newscaster or something, right? I don't know the news. I don't. I probably just broke it. I shouldn't have touched it. Anyway, yeah, so new good mic in front of me, actually where it's kind of supposed to be-ish. So that's fun. And as a side note, if anyone has any use for a Blue Yeti microphone, two of them, actually, I, I have them. They're great for different purposes. And I'm not using them anymore. We're using this guy. And these guys are good guys. So we're doing that. But if you want a Blue Yeti, two of them, send me a message because I would like to get some of this tech that we decided we didn't want to use out of my house, really. That's it. Different thing. Not making a microphone soap or, you know, talking about how to set up filming and stuff at all, at all today. I'm just talking because that's what I do. I will tell you what I am making in just a minute, but before I do, Hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for another video of week one of 365 days of soap, 52 weeks of soap thing. And uh, we are making Winnie's bar, which is fun. And I was actually really concerned about her hair with this one, and it ended up being kind of complicated. And I had to ultimately scrap the idea that I had for her hair in all of this, because what I wanted to do was make it look like curls using essentially the same extruder plate that I had used for Mary, but doing it like that didn't work. I, I tried really hard because you have to get the bun plus the V, you know, and that didn't really work out. So I had to modify it so it would work in soap and not fall apart. And so that's what you're seeing today is the pouring of all of that. And hopefully it'll be less messy than yesterday's Mary bar. But, you know, I'm me. I don't know why anyone would ever expect me to change and stop being a messy soaper. But I don't know. Maybe today will surprise you. Let's go to the video and we can see. It is raining. I am using lime, basil, mandarin from Sierra Candles to make the Winnie bar, and it is uh, 2.30 in the a.m. And I don't get up at 2.30 in the a.m., so what that actually means is I've been up all night. 
way too many all-nighters these days but it's all it's all good we're having a good time with a soap that i made you know a long time ago but tis the season the spooky season and so we have to represent with you know the best witch to ever exist in the history of ever winifred sanderson which we also found out through hocus pocus too that she's like the most powerful witch well all three of them are collectively combined because of their bond it's very cool i'm not going to say anything else because like no more spoilers but go watch it if you haven't the pour itself is going to be basically the exact same as the sarah and the mary so taking the main color of the witch so in this case green right her dress and just doing a little swirl within a majority white you know batch of soap and somewhere in the soap about halfway up is the idea we insert some soap dough that is made to look like the witch's hair and in this case this one actually took quite a while i tried a number of different things you know yesterday with the mary pour right and i had the the twisty stuff soap dough and i tried to do the same thing to do winnie's buns so they looked like curls and it didn't work ever and so ultimately the only way that i was able to get it done was with this guy but i think that totally works too i don't know I mean, in all actuality, figuring out that hair was pretty complicated, so this is going to work. And with the stamps, the soap stamps that Mr. Soap and Clay, you know, printed out for the lips, it absolutely works. Just got to get the color right and the general shape right, and it all just sort of comes together. I have some ideas, actually, after watching some footage for an upcoming you know project soapway thing no spoilers from a sudzer and a pour that they had done i have some new ideas for ways to do this for next year's line because honestly i'm thinking i liked this so much it was so much fun and the sudzers loved it they sold i mean they actually bought all my stock thrice in the three short weeks it was on the website that i'm thinking yeah no we can totally do this every year and also i'm thinking this is going to be like the really cool sets that i made for the sisters they're going to be part of 10 days of thanks as well this year so in a couple weeks we will have 10 of each of those for free for you know sudsers that place orders on the website during 10 days of thanks because they were just that freaking cool so I'm here for that. Now, with all of this, it's this is just an issue of, you remember yesterday, like I put all that purple on and then covered it up. Really the reason why the purple went on there at all was because I needed to get all of the soap out of the containers, which is something I never show you guys. But I have noticed that there have been people commenting, you know, a lot actually about how they don't like it when people leave soap in the containers i don't think any soap maker actually does that i just think a lot of soap makers cut it out of their videos which i do as well okay and on to the cut of winnie and i love how shiny it is there c pop is just my favorite friend ever also recently read a very interesting comment about how c pop doesn't work if you have excess water or clay and to both of those i say nay oh nay nay i also say oh nay nay to all those pockets on the sides but because the soap is so soft when i cut it it's actually very easy to take the end piece and just you know kind of spackle it in or you know whatever that's called i've been using a lot of joint compound lately because it's my job to tape and mud you know all of the drywall in the house so as soon as it gets hung i go do that thing and i you would think that i would know if this is called spackle or not but you just you know take a thin layer of stuff and put it in make the hole go away that's it isn't that cute sorry i'm not more like excited about this it's very cute i was very excited when i cut this guy for the very first time like for sure 
it's not bad. It's in the right place. It's kind of, it's in the middle where I wanted it to be. So the lips aren't going to be too far down. Problems that I had with both Mary and Sarah. And I think it ultimately looks great, just say for a couple pockets because my soap bed got too thick. But yeah, ultimately love it. I'm just really tired because it's now like 2.40ish in the morning. That was crooked. Why'd you do that? I put that on very crooked. It's all right. My, my mom told me once that, you know, you just need to get like 90% of the way there and the mind fills in the blanks. Look, that one's better. All right, cool. But yeah, no, this was such a fun project for sure. And like I said, this is definitely going to be something that I keep in my line every single year. I know that there are some people out there that do like Nightmare Before Christmas, like um, Madhouse Mama. She did Nightmare Before Christmas this year and it was beautiful. So I imagine she's going to make that like her shtick every year for Halloween. This one's going to be mine because I have loved Hocus Pocus my entire life. The Sanderson sisters are everything and uh, those bars are absolutely beautiful. So there it is. Spooky season and three spooky bars. And there's Winnie. And there it is. Winnie soap and yeah, super fun. And I think the best part about that, what really just sends it over the top and makes it completely perfect is the stamp with her very good thing. I love that so much. I actually went as Winnie. We did, because we do themed Halloween costumes every year, and we will continue to do so until the children don't let us anymore, really. And uh, one year we all went as the Sanderson, as Hocus Pocus. And so Scout was Sarah, and Eowyn was Mary, and Mr. Soap and Clay was Billy, all zombied out and I was Winnie and it was fun, like so much fun. Just the, the gown itself and the, you know, I, I got a, we all made cloaks. It was, cause we hand make all of our costumes as well. It's all a thing. Anyway, the, the best part that I did not hand make because how can you even was the wig. Cause I love wearing wigs for Halloween. It, it was her hair and it was just perfect. And it actually required you to be like proper posture, dance ballerina, you know, posture the whole time because it was very heavy and all of the bobby pins in the world were not really going to stop it from slipping. And so I totally was the part, everything except for the mouth. I couldn't do it. It just kind of looked like duck lips whenever I tried to pose for pictures, but it was delightful. It was a lot of fun. I posted it in Discord for the Discord sudsers, so you guys can go check that out there. For sure. Uh, for regular Sudzers that, you know, aren't in the Discord and everything. Hey, thanks for being here regardless and watching the video. You're amazing. You're awesome. For all of the Sudzers that are there and everything, you guys are all awesome. Thank you for existing. It's been good to be back. For sure. As I said yesterday, these bars are on the website right now. So you can find them at Soap and Clay for the next couple days. I am still working on getting November and December stuff up. So that will be coming soon for sure. But you know, right now, if you want the Winnie or the Sarah or the Mary or the bath bombs and all the other cool things that come with them, you know, go to the website. That would be awesome. But I am going to go because I actually have a lot of website stuff to do and still have to finish uh, taping and mudding a ceiling in my house. And yeah, that's going to be some nice dirty work. So I'm going to go do that. But I will see all of you guys again tomorrow for another round of Soapy Fun. Bye.